uh, property of uh, change, uh, zoning change. Um, my concern for it is that I, I was out there with, with Councilman Warren and Councilman uh, Benjamin uh, this past weekend to, to look at the, uh, uh, the track of land. And, and the way that it's situated, it, it, you know, it seems to be it's a mighty small six and a half acres or whatever it might be, but uh, to cram 30 units uh, with uh, two, uh, two rental spaces in each one of them uh, seems to be a, a, a bit much. And to reduce it uh, from R10 to, uh, to, to R6 so that this could be done, uh, to me seems to be a, a bit of an injustice uh, with regard to somebody trying to make some money. Now, I don't begrudge anybody for making money, and you can do whatever you want to do with your property, but you should be concerned about uh, um, what it looks like in the community, the concerns of the, of the people that are there. And one of the things about it is that most of the people that we, we canvass and talk to uh, that live in the area, that live in some of the houses along the street that's going out toward the interstate, and then those people that are living in the trailers, uh, some of the properties are owned by, by the chances, so they couldn't say anything except for the fact that, well, we can't speak, but we really wouldn't like to see that happen either uh, because of the traffic concerns of the bed. Uh, but uh, uh, other than seeing that little red sign that was on the side of the road, that's about as much notice as most people got as to what was going on in, 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 in the area. And uh, if, if you guys don't see any concern as far as stopping or not, you know, I just kind of feel like the people in the, in the area being, 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 uh, being just sort of run over. Uh, we've been tight spheres in that, in that area for over 40 years, uh, on homes along that street for over 40 years. And right in the area where they're proposing to build this thing is, is, is almost a bottleneck. You can't even get two cars by the side by side. Uh, they have to stop. Um, as they turn the corner to allow another car to come through and to allow that much traffic and that, that many dwellings and that much traffic uh, onto that street would, is really going to, going to uh, uh, I think, create a problem for us in the city because it's going to have to be widened so the city's going to, somebody's going to have to take the, take the concern about widening the street or whatever it may be. Uh, but it's very difficult uh, to see how you, would, how you would pass on this and allow uh, the uh, construction of, of these dwelling places uh, with as many inhabitants that's going to be in there uh, to directly uh, impact the community and the people that are there. So my major concern is the fact that I, I lived there for uh, in and out when I was here, growing up here, and I served on the council over 30 odd years ago. Uh, one of the things that we were always concerned about was keeping on the bedroom community. Uh, and, and we were always concerned about it being a, a not a place where people just come in and make money. Because there are a lot of things that could have been done at Hay Hira to expand it if some of the people uh, and the many of the uh, are dead and gone now. They probably should have made some different decisions as far as expanding Hay Hira, uh, but, but they didn't because they wanted to keep it keep a community, but just to simply open it up uh, in, in this fashion. You know, you got houses, you got trailers. You know, and, uh, and and then you got a, I got this complex that's coming in. Uh, to me, uh, seems like it, it, it's inviting problems. And the gentleman that just left before you've known him for, for probably 30, 40 years myself. Uh, but the property across the street is not going to be developed, be able to be developed in, in the fashion that it, it could be developed in terms of single single dwelling homes. Uh, if you create this kind of uh, 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 problem with the property this day. So uh, I'm, I'm asking you uh, that if you're not going around and seeing that property, I, that you would table this at least uh, and go around and look at the property yourself. I don't know how many councilors have seen it or whatever, but it, it just seems to be a very tight fit uh, for the area that we're, that, we're in, that we're in at this time. And to compare this, this, this kind of uh, 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 construction with what's on the other end in terms of the apartments, uh, it, it's crazy. It, it doesn't compare at all, you know, and, and I don't see where it can, in terms of being beautified and all that it can, because this is an opportunity to just sort of, uh, I don't think the best interest of the city at hand with, with, with regard to this, and I'm, I'm asking you that if you hadn't seen it, that you would take it, it's not going to kill and hurt anything, you know, gas prices down $1.57, you know, so, uh,
I don't think it's going to be an increase in materials and all that stuff that's going to create a problem for the for, for the builders. But I think that the city uh, should 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 uh, uh, take note of the fact that the citizens in the area, especially me and my family, uh, that we uh, that we do something at least look at it, uh, take another look at it, put some fresh eyes on it, and and see where we go from here. But my my uh, request would be that you not that you not change the zoning in order that this this uh, uh, this construction might be might be uh, uh, done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Brown. <coughs> Good afternoon. My name is Karen Cameo. And uh, um, what I would like to say is that I've lived in this area all my life. Uh, we moved there when we were now nine years old. And we moved there with only four houses in the area. That was already there. And there's been a few more since then. But my thing is, is y'all, neither of you are the lady that spoke in favor of it, lived in that community. I do. And immediately, when I heard about it a week ago, because most people in the community don't even know anything about it, because I live in that community, I immediately knew that that curve of the road was too crowded was for a car to come out into that road and people going up and down. There's been the influx. If you don't live there, you don't recognize how many cars is in that community. You coming from the apartments, you coming off a of Union Road. There are cars coming and streaming all the time. And I said to the city manager, "Is a wreck. I almost in a wreck at least sleep daily, back out of my yard, and to put 60 units. My average, most people have two cars." So you look at 100 and pops and 120 cars coming out of this. On the property next door to that is the Garrison family. And that, to me, that's going to be an encroachment on their property, and they are not going to sell. So I already know that. So I ask that you, council, consider this, <coughs> consider the people that live there. And so, um, and also on the other side of that is the sewage. So where are you going to put, how are you going to come out of that? And like I said, I was there, we met, they might say it's 6.7 acres, but if you go out there, it doesn't look like it's 6.7 acres. It might be, but it doesn't, certainly doesn't look like it. So I'm asking you as a council to consider the, count, the, the, the safety of the people. That's more important than Mr. Chancellor building of uh, facilities out there. And uh, it's ironic that Mr. Wilbur Coburn is speaking because my father worked for the Meadows a number of years at the Boston Drug Company. So thank you. Thank you, Anyone else?